Greetings, Laddingtons. Welcome back to good old Hellas. Now, I read through the comments on the last video and I saw actually that a few of you had recommended a book that I'm holding in my hand right now and I'm putting it up on the screen now as well. Gates of Fire by Stephen Pressfield. And uh, I actually have this in my library, but uh, I have not read it yet. It was actually a um, birthday gift I got from a uh, mate of mine two and a half years ago. Um, and he uh, is um, quite similar to myself. He um, is training a lot of MMA. Uh, well, of course, I train more in the gym now, but he is into um, that at least. And he's very much into history and philosophy etc so he recommended that to me and gave it to me so but i haven't read it yet but uh, now that some of you reminded me of that book i will definitely check that out so that is about um good old leonidas so very suitable to uh, read now that i'm playing this game so I will continue to elaborate a bit on books after we have spoken to this fine gentleman, Sopra. We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. This is not a uh, place for a young girl. You're too little, my girl. Phoebe. You're not old enough. I can't look after you all the time. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Oh, but you do. You Even do. Even if that were true, it's not your time. But there wouldn't be any trouble. Promise. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mm -hmm. Mother gave her That's to me. That's sweet of her. But... She'll be your friend now, and it'll be like I'm there with you, you know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with the fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. Hmm, we have some... Uh some dilemmas here. This is a bit too too mean to... Well, I suppose it's the truth as well, but we might come back, so um, I'll go with this one. I'll hope I'll see you again. It's up to the fates, but I'd like to. The fates know we're best friends, Alexios. They'll make sure we meet again. If you say so. Zeus I will say sit. So. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. <laughs> goodbye, Marcos. Well All said. Well said, Alexis. A dynamic duo. I'll never replace you. Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. All right, bro. Give me a bro All hug right. here. Come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Let's go, bro. Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good. The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. Let's go, champ. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? 
They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Uh oh. This is not boding well. <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> To prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen. Please, she'll do no harm. She'll help us. She will lead us. Silence! Wow, an uh, intense. It's Megaris. Now. Intense sin, indeed. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. The plot thickens. Yeah, he was obviously just looking out for his uh, baby sister. You have to admire that. Obviously, ah. Uh, complex story behind I assume but uh, I think he um, he was a good boy in that scenario nothing like a sea breeze does the deck always feel like it's moving <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs oh what would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right, there. Let's get moving. Right, let's uh, take command. Fortunately, since I played Origins, I should know how... Uh, how this goes. Oh look at that, we have leveled up too. How nice. Ah oh, look at that, beautiful. And we see the Zeus um, statue. Also I saw uh, <laughs> some fun comments that I was talking about the author Harry Sidebottom while I was climbing up the um, actual bottom of the Zeus statue. That was not, um, that was an accident, I assure you. I did not even think about it, but um, in retrospect, I suppose it was uh, quite funny coincidence. Um, either way, I thought to mention something about 
God of War. Um, by by Christine Cameron. Um, I was a bit younger. Well, I mean, I was a few years younger. So, uh, yeah, a few years back. Uh, I read it. So I might have... Uh, I might have... Uh, not like this as much today if I had seen some of the uh, inglorious sides of it. Someone mentioned that the main character, which is Ptolemy, uh, had a bit of an inglorious view of um, of his women. Uh, and what I mean with that is that he, um, if I'm not mistaken now, uh, didn't mind that she had been a hetera. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but then Hetera was then a uh, courtesan of sorts. Um, I don't know about the historical accuracy of any of this, but uh, that's at least something also, a comment from the last um, video mentioned, and I thought to mention that again so, so you don't um, uh, get that book and then see some... Uh, some heresies, but overall I remember it was a good book. Let's go champs! Boom! Barabas shipment. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I lost a couple good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little Drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine. I promise you. All right. Uh, nice with a sea shanty there as well. So I thought to mention something else I saw in a comment, and that was a true friend asked if I had read the Raven trilogy by Gilles Christian. Yes, I have, and I have actually made a uh, book recommendation about. Uh, those books and this was a few years back I got uh, the question then if I had any good Viking book recommendations and then I said him and yet again as I mentioned in the last video Bernard Cornwell uh, so yes Gilles Christian uh, good author good author indeed I can definitely recommend him then I got a question about if I have any good fantasy books and I have plenty the first one I mentioned was Joe Abercrombie uh, he has a very particular writing style. Uh, does Joe Abercrombie? I up to get the lay of the land. He'll spot my target. All right, there we have him, I suppose. Uh, but uh, yeah, a uh, good recommendation right there, Joe Abercrombie. I will. Uh, jump down in the nice water here. Looks uh, nice to swim around in it. So also I hope the frame rate is loyal this time. I had a bit of a problem with uh, with it before and I, s and I could play on Right, I'm gonna do the following first. I could play on very high with my GTX 1060 without any problem, but uh, obviously it's a bit different when I also have to um, uh, record it, so I suppose that's the issue there. Swift Dagger, boom. Didn't even know that I had it. And, uh, oh, look at that. Chalcadian. Don't know how to pronounce that. Or a Sparta. Okay, the Sparta one is more epic, so let's definitely go for that. And then we have some new armor. Look at that, double armor. Absolutely joyous, if anything. 
Then going to abilities, see what the crack is here. I suppose we'll have to progress further in the story there. Second wind. Alright, that sounds like a good idea. Can I assign it to second? Right, let's uh, let's do this. Whoop! Oh, look at that helmet! Absolutely aesthetic. I have to enter power gaming mode, so I will not be as talkative. Silly of me. Die, unbeliever. These guys have blasphemed against Ares. And uh, thus, they needed to be illuminated to the primordial truth. Hello, mate. I want to, I want to kick this individual. Boom! That was very aesthetic of me. Look at this. Absolutely, absolute mad cunt. Is all I have to say about that. I can't quick save, unfortunately, but. Um, Seems that I've survived the worst of it at least. A Corinthian helmet, and uh, yeah, quite fun since I answered the question what my favorite uh, helmets are in a recent QA. Uh, got the question of who my favorite Roman emperor was and what my favorite helmet or always get the good questions on my from my supporters um, but what should we actually do here we're supposed to talk with someone if I am not, was this this guy no that's a skeleton you can recruit any soldier on the island uh huh. All right, so maybe this was just a um, a little hideout for uh, some bandits. So I suppose we'll have to go to the main island to recruit some mad cunts to fight for us. We'll have to train our pull up game here it didn't go well i had to kill him maybe we won't try for a pirate next time there'll be plenty more people we can recruit in the future the gods will provide us with the opportunities we need of that i am sure we should set a course for megaris a long voyage can be relaxing but we are not really the cruising type if you want to spice things up a bit you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a dead end. Alright, mate, that sounds uh, sounds glorious. Dock ship. Alright, let's uh, let's go champs. Let's set the pace high on this uh, ship and that will give me an excellent opportunity to uh, elaborate on, uh, on some books I suppose. So uh, what I'm currently reading at the moment is actually Three books. Um, the first one is something I started a while back, a really mammoth of a book, which a true friend 
gave me a shout out to you, thank you. Uh, looks like this, putting it up on the screen too. Um, quite good fantasy as well, so I'm almost finished with that. And then I also am reading Garrow, Weapon of Fate in uh, Horus uh, Heresy. Because I am, um, yeah, as you all know, I'm a great fan of the Horus Heresy. And then as a non-fiction book, I'm reading Western Prices Physical Degeneration book. Uh, and that I will actually have to read well before my daughter arrives. So, um... Aha, we have, uh... We have uh, a little mission here. Just gonna see what, uh, what the crack is. Um. Alright, I uh, utilized a little edit there. I didn't realize that we had to, um... Destroy this, uh heretics in order to progress in the storyline so um, power gaming mode initiated and I'm gonna try to uh, get uh, get these Athenians so yes uh, the classical war between a land-based aristocracy aka Sparta versus a mercantile naval based power such as Athens uh, you can find these sort of examples throughout uh, history Quite interesting. Uh, Germany versus Great Britain in First World War, for example, where uh, where we have uh, Germany as the, the land-based uh, power, and Great Britain, obviously, a bit more mercantile, naval-based uh, power. Now let's see. They will try to ram us. Not good. Not good. Ah, they missed. Great. Great mate. Ah, damn. That's uh, that's not good at all. Come on, mates. Ah. Right, can we initiate a boarding here, perhaps? Ah, right. Let's go, champs. Come on, charge then. Boom, there we are. Nice one, mates. Aha, he isn't. There we are. We can loot. But uh, can we. Ah, they were. One ship down. Let's get the other ones. And. Uh, if I'm a bit noobish here, it's obviously because this is the first time I'm doing this in this particular game. But anyway, let's uh, illuminate these heretics. So obviously the advantage if you're a naval power, sea-based power, is that you can almost always get in supplies if you control the seas and if you control the trade lanes you're much more durable uh, when it comes to the short shortages of food etc whereas if you're a land-based power and your agriculture is being ravaged by land by raids etc uh, it will obviously not be as durable oh, we can't even reach them this is this is blasphemous Perhaps we can ram them. Let's see. Yes, go on, lads. Boom. Maybe we can ram this guy too. Nah, not quite.
Oh. Hurry up, man. Maybe we should um, board this guy. Or maybe we should wait a bit until we have maybe taken this guy. This is a nice one. Uh, yeah, since I've initiated power gaming mode, that's why I'm not as talkative. Ram this guy again. Speed up. Yes, go on, lads. Go on, then. Huh, that was a bit of a fail, to be perfectly honest. Ooh, look at that. He uh, died a heroic death in uh, in the name of his gods. There we are. All right, I utilized yet another edit there, uh, just because it was an extremely grindy fight. It's gonna finish you off. Boom. There we are. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, that will have to conclude this fine episode I suppose and uh, thank you for watching and I hope you had some got some good um, book advice from watching it at least. so uh, talk to Nikolaus uh, we'll pick up here in the next episode which will be out tomorrow then XOXO boom